Hello and welcome to a special edition of Hughesong.com, Music Meets Tech. I thought for today's special anniversary episode we'd get back to kind of the roots of why I started this website in the first place. About four years ago, Microsoft offered a new type of laptop called the Tablet PC. The Tablet PC basically gave me the reason to completely eliminate paper from my office work and from my uh, activities as a concert pianist. I no longer need to use paper scores. I no longer need to use a human page turner. I can turn pages by myself. I can still use music like pencil and paper, but in digital format. So what I thought I would do is I introduce some of the different types of tablet PCs that you can see. I have three of them here with me. The one right over here in its dock is the one I actually use the most. This is the one uh, that I use for almost all of my rehearsals and concerts and lessons. This is uh, the Fujitsu ST5022D Slate model uh, tablet PC. Let me take it out of its cradle so you can see. This actually um, its a very nice dock. Well, let me take this out for a second. I used to do it this way. And here we go. As you can see, I have my music score opened up here in PDF annotator. It's basically um, a, an Acrobat file version of the music. The nice thing about Tablet PCs is you can use this digital pen. I can touch the screen, it's not going to affect anything here, but I can write markings, draw silly things, you know, write down my fingerings here. I can use um, highlights if I want to color off certain sections. This might be a little bit small to see, but I can use this, different colors, in fact, what I'll do is I'll try a different pen color right now. Let's try, oh, let's try a nice big blue color. You can use multiple colors, okay? You can use multiple types of highlights as well. The nice thing about this is that all of this is non-destructive. I can erase these markings just as easily. See how that, go how that goes away, okay? So I can write in multiple colors. In fact, colors have become a, a new way for me to practice that have made the tablet PC so usable in learning music. So the, you, you have all the benefits of paper and pencil on, uh, on your music scores, but the capacity, the storage capacity, the file, finding the file searching capabilities, the portability of a digital computer. So this is a tablet PC in operation. And the other benefit of this is that I can attach a special USB pedal and turn my own pages with my foot. So I no longer need a human page turner to turn my pages in performance. Uh, I just push my push a pedal down. I'll show you a little demonstration commercial or infomercial uh, in just a few moments, but I wanted to go on and talk about some of these other models. This is the one I use the most um, daily. Weighs about three pounds. Very comfortable to put on top of a piano rack. It's even, uh, I believe, light enough for most music stands. A wire stand might be a little tough, but uh, most heavy-duty music stands should have no problem supporting the weight and bulk of this machine. This is uh, my latest acquisition. This is, let me get this out of the way so we can actually see what I'm, what I'm talking about. Just pick this one up. And this is the kind of the more traditional uh, tablet PC that you're going to find uh, it's probably the most popular configuration these days, made by Toshiba, made by uh, Gateways. This particular model, HP makes them, several other brand makers. But this is what we would call a convertible uh, tablet PC. This model looks like a regular laptop with a folding screen like this, but the added benefit of this model is that the screen can swivel around, fold back down, and you can use it as a slate. Yeah, I can draw and write on this just as I would with my machine over here that I just showed you a second ago. Now, this model is much bigger, much heavier. You can see the screen is much wider. This is about six pounds. This is not something that I would carry around uh, on my arm day, you know, for daily rehearsals and lessons running from room to room. But uh, if I still need to use this for music reading, I have this as a backup unit. I'm actually using this primarily for graphics processing and for audio editing and, and whatnot. So this is um, a convertible tablet PC. There's one more type of PC that I want to show you. This tablet PC is actually a discontinued model. They don't make this anymore. This is um, an old HP, well actually, it was a, I'm sorry, this is a Compaq, the Compaq TC1000. 
Uh, I actually purchased this for my children because I wanted them to have a smaller uh, tablet PC so they could carry this to school and do their notes with it. Now this uh, particular unit doesn't have the battery charge, so I'm not going to turn it on, but I'm just going to hold up my Fujitsu right next to it. So you can see this difference in screen size uh, between this model and this model. Now the beauty of this one, this tablet PC is called a hybrid. A hybrid tablet PC looks like a slate, operates like a convertible. I can flip this screen open, flip it around, and use it like a traditional laptop. You'll notice the keyboard here, okay? Very nice design. What's even cooler about this is that the keyboard can actually come off. This is the keyboard. This is the actual computer, the tablet PC. So if I want to just use this in slate mode, I can do it that way. Pen is attached on, oops, excuse me, got this upside down. Pen is attached here. I would draw and write just like my slate computer down here, but if, you know, if, which is good for running from room to room, but if I really want to sit down and type out a lot of emails, I can attach this back on, like so, click, and there you have it. And then I can type just like a regular uh, laptop computer that has a little trackball mouse in the middle. Uh, so flip it around, carry it. Now though, as you'll notice there's no uh, lid to cover the screen. The screens are typically very, very durable and scratch resistant. Doesn't mean to say that uh, they are completely impervious to scratches, but they're going to hold up very, very well in the long term. So that is a hybrid tablet PC. Let's take a moment. I want, I'm going to make a little mock-up commercial explaining the benefits of a tablet PC over traditional pencil and paper, particularly for the uh, classical musician who relies on paper scores. Take a look at this commercial. Let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed that little commercial. I wanted to take a few seconds to focus uh, a bit on the actual pedals that I use to turn pages. This is the Delcom Engineering uh, foot switch. Goes in through the USB port and can be programmed to trigger any keystroke. So I have this programmed in my tablet PC to emulate the page down keystroke. So I use my foot to push this. The only problem with this device, it's very reliable, but it makes a little clicking sound. Not a big deal when you're on stage and the audience is about you know, 20, 30 feet away, but in a recording situation, it can cause a problem. So anyway, I think if you see from, you've seen from my little mock commercial some of the many benefits that the tablet PC offers over traditional paper, pencil scores, uh, in terms of being able to store your entire library and bring it with you wherever you go. You don't have to hunt for music. You can turn your own pages. You can still write in it just like you would traditional music. Uh, you know, but with all the benefits of, I'll give me one more example. Let's say uh, I do a lot of accompanying, and uh, one situation I find myself in a lot is accompanying auditions, where I will have maybe 10, 15 people playing the same piece. Well, let's say we have 10 people playing the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto. Rather than having one paper score and writing over it over again with all the different people's markings and preferences, what I can do is take one blank file, save it 10 different ways, and then mark it customized to each person's preferences. So that's just one example of the benefits of digital technology in music and in electronic scores. So I hope you've enjoyed this special quick look at tablet PCs and how I've adopted them to make my life virtually paperless as a working classical musician. Okay, take care and I hope to see you next time. Let's do this one more time. Our new way of performing.